Hello and welcome to PMCLounge.com. My name is Shoaib. I am the voice behind all the videos that you see on the PMCLounge.com website as well as this YouTube channel youtube.com slash PMCLounge. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already by the way. And this video is part of the Lounge Fever series. This is the series wherein we try to answer all the questions that we receive on our YouTube, on our social media, Twitter, Facebook, emails comments wherever we receive questions we try to address them and if possible if they are really good questions that may benefit others as well we create videos on those questions just like this one so the question for today is about benchmarks and benchmarking is a tool which is used in the plan quality management process we have talked about this process earlier by the way first link in the description will take you to the entire playlist of all the lounge fever questions on quality management knowledge area that we have covered and second link will take you to all the videos that we have done on quality management knowledge area so two very important links so as talking about benchmarking and we have covered this previously benchmarking is basically taking the industry's best as a reference point and this is about policies this is about processes this is about numbers if you can find so you take those policies processes numbers wherever you find them which are from industry's best not from you know mediocre companies you take these numbers these details from the industry's best organization and then you set them as a reference point for yourself as a benchmark and you are basically going to score yourselves against those benchmarks so this is the tool of benchmarking now let's say you don't have these poli policies or processes or numbers from other companies now what will your benchmarks be if you don't have all these details now this is where your organizational process assets opas come in handy so let's say you are trying to find out what should be the cost of quality for your project versus the total cost of the project. So what you are going to do is you're going to refer to the organizational process assets and you're going to find out in the previous projects that have been delivered by your company, what has been the COQ versus the total cost of the project. And let's say you find that your company has delivered projects at 40%, 40% cost of quality versus the total cost of the project, which means if the total cost of the project was $100, the cost of quality was $40, right? And total cost of the project, when I say that, I don't mean to include cost of quality in it, right? So I'm talking about everything that includes in the uh, in the project except for the cost of quality so that this hundred dollars includes everything except cost of quality so if the total cost of the project excluding cost of quality is hundred dollars then 40 percent which is forty dollars is the cost of quality which previously in the past your company has delivered so that 40 percent becomes the benchmark for you because all the projects that your company has delivered has got a 40% cost of quality. So you take that as a benchmark, right? Now, let's say in certain cases, some of the companies may have certain goals. So let's say the goal of the company for this financial year is that the schedule variance should be plus minus 10%. So that means if a project is supposed to finish in 60 days, it can either finish in 54 days or 66 days plus minus 10 percent that's the schedule variance so if that is the goal that your company has defined for a financial year that plus minus 10 percent becomes your benchmark so this is how you will find benchmarks if you are not able to tap into the resources that can provide you what are the benchmarks for industry's best and even if you have industry's best these local benchmarks will also be very very important because these are coming in right from the top management so i hope you understand i hope i was able to answer the question how you find benchmarks how do you know what benchmarks are for your project that's all that we had in this video do hit the like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already hit the bell icon to stay notified whenever we upload new videos new content and as always don't forget to check out the website pncloungecom your number one free pmp resource
Thank you and have a nice day.